Hi, Sarah Banis here, Simply Sarah Made Easy. I'm going to quickly show you today how to use Silhouette Studio and Alphas. Um, today we're going to use a Halloween Alpha. Uh, so this would be like for putting on, you know, like trick-or-treat bags or something to that effect. Um, alphas would be used for print projects. So uh, whether it be print then cut on like um, an inkjet transfer or um, sublimation. So, or also you can of course use them for print projects on like cardstock to make cards and stuff like that and decorations. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already downloaded the alpha that we're gonna use. Um, I'll link in the video description where you can get tons and tons and tons of alphas for next to nothing. So I'll link that right in the video description. So I'm gonna go to open and i have already unzipped it so that's it right there and it's right here this is the unzipped version so there's four sets with this alpha and then there's clip art so uh essentially the four sets each one is a full alphabet and then but just uh different so let's do the name um let's do luca so that's the L for this set. Let me just show you the L's for each of the sets so that you know. Um, so the second one, you'll do merge when you're in um, Silhouette Studio. I just wanna show you that again real quick. When you are in Silhouette Studio, when you're opening a second, when you're pulling in a second image, instead of going to open again, you'll go to merge. If you go to open again, it'll open up a new tab. So go to merge. And so let me just show you that's alpha set one. So let's just look at the L and alpha set two so you can see the differences in each of the, I'll do each of them. So, so we can see what each one looks like. Alpha set three. And it has the numbers for each one too, so that's nice. And then file merge alpha set four. Now I'm gonna link in the video description, I'll link um, where you can get, like I said, a ton of alpha sets, super cheap. But I'm also gonna link our Facebook group. Um, I will link sublimation for beginners. We have a whole bunch, we have Cricut, Silhouette, um, sublimation, Photoshop, everything you can imagine. Um, but I'm gonna link so these are our four sets. I'm going to put them in order so that we know when we're picking which ones we want to use. Um, I will link uh, Sublimation for Beginners. It's about 175,000 numbers. Super friendly, super helpful. You'll fit right in, so join us there. Um, okay, so for the first L, let's use this one. This is super cute. I'm going to duplicate that. And then let's use this so set three for the u so file merge and then set three and then choose your u oh and you know what i shouldn't i should uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna redo this so that they're all sized correctly and that is set two so file merge set to and grab that L because I want them all to be sized correctly. I don't want to have to guess. So if you open them all up together at the same size um, and then you just, you know, size it to what you want together. So the L, the U, the K, let's do the set four. So merge and we'll do set four for the K. Alphas are a lot of fun to work with there. I mean, and, and it's not just for this. There's every kind of alpha you can possibly imagine. There's some really nice ones for like teachers and, um, you know, for like back to school. And um, there's just, there's just a ton of nice hot Christmas ones. Okay. So we have these four. So we need this one. We need, and we need this one. So we need the A out of set four. I mean, you don't have to do all separate ones, but... Um, that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do the A out of set four. And then I'll show you in a second how we decorate these. Okay. Oops. That, sorry. Wrong one. 
set one. I apologize. Merge alpha one, and that's the A that we need. Okay. So now I can get rid of these ones down here at the bottom. That was just for reference. So now, okay. So now what you want to do is you want to put these in order. See how that's behind? I want that in the front. So I'm going to bring that to the front. I right clicked. That's how, that's how I brought up that menu if you're unfamiliar. I right clicked and I clicked bring to front. Now you'll see it's in front of it. So I want that just a little bit lower. You kind of want to want to play with these so that they are, um, you know, like I wouldn't want to put them just like straight across. That would look kind of boring. And then this one, I think I'm actually also going to bring this one to the front. And then this last one I'll leave behind. Yeah, so kind of like that. I think that K is just a little bit too high. Move that out just a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks cute like that. Um, I'm wondering if I should bring that L to the front. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so that looks better like that. So just like that. Okay, and actually, I'm going to select all of these. You can see the red outline on them. I'm going to get rid of that. So right up here, just get rid of that real quick. Okay, so now what you do, now you have this part done. So now what you do with alphas, with good alphas, good alphas, include um, extra sets. So that's what you saw down here. So this clip art set that comes with it, I wish you could see the PNGs. I don't know why they don't have it set to let me see. Okay, there you go. So I just changed my view on it. Um, so now you're going to add in your, your, your little extras, you know, for, so like this one's really cute. I'll add that. It's kind of big. It's a little bit big. So let's take that and just kind of put that. I'm actually, I'm not 100% sure I like that one. Um, but I do, I know I want a witch's hat, so let's find that first. I know there, I saw a witch's hat in this one. I'm not sure where it was. Oh, I like that bat too. There it is right there. Okay, so I'm going to take this witch's hat. I'm going to size it down some. And then I'm going to take it right, you know what, because we're sizing these now, I'm just going to take, and I'm going to, because it's taking up too much of the screen, I'm just going to size this whole thing down so that I have more screen to work with. And then I'm going to size that down just a little bit more. And I'm going to take that like that, and then I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. And so you can see that that's, that's what you do. That's how this clip art works. And it's the same thing where you right click, send it back so that you can, um, put it in the orientation that you want it. Okay, and then file, merge. Um, let's put a broom on there. And then for the broom, I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip that horizontally so that that's kind of like this. Make it smaller. And I'm going to tip it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Like that. I, might, I might move that one. But that's that's the fun of these is that you're kind of just playing with it and, um, you know, moving things around. You, you might think something is going to look cute and then it doesn't. And that's okay. I wish the eyes on that were see-through. I wish you could, um, I wish they were transparent and that you could see that behind it, but that's okay. See if I send that to the back. Nope, I'm gonna keep that in front. Okay. And you kind of have to resist the urge to um over decorate these. <laughs> and that can happen. I'm gonna flip this one. Horizontally, get rid of that. Actually, can make that a little bit smaller. It's a little bit big. I'm gonna. I I don't remember if I saw there were two different bats in there. 
Um, but I think I think there should always be at least two bats. I think one bat is one bat doesn't look quite right. Okay, and then merge. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think you have to have a cobweb, right? Halloween. What's Halloween without a cobweb? Mm, the only kind of weird thing about this is that cobwebs kind of cobwebs should kind of like connect to something at their at their edges. So I think just kind of floating looks silly. Let's try to move that to the back, and let's see if I can slip it behind something and make it look right. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of perfect. Okay, that's kind of perfect. Okay, so I mean that's right there is just about enough. Let me just quickly look and see if there's anything else we want in there. I mean we could definitely add more. There's a ton, you know, the, the clip art for this one is really good. But I think that's good. I think that's good just like that. So let me just I'm not loving the way that oops. Um, uh, not loving the way this bat looked there. These, maybe the bats are a little bit too big. I think maybe that's it. Oh, you know what? I know what. That, I was trying to figure out what that one clip art was. That's a moon. We definitely need a moon. Definitely need a moon that our bats can go across. Yep, that, that is the final piece that we were missing. So right click, bring to front. And that's a bat moving across the moon. There we go. So that's perfect. That's super duper cute. So that's it. That's all there is to working with alpha. So you just take all that, right click, group. Now it's one single group. Um, and now you would resize it to the size that you want it and print it. And that's it. That's all there is. Alphas are super, super fun. Like I said, there's so many neat ones too. I'm going to link in the video description. Um, I'll link, like I said, tons and tons and tons and tons of um, really, really high quality, nice alphas like this. Super cheap. Um, you can get unlimited ones for things like $4.99 a month and you can get as many as you want. Um, and not just alphas, fonts, designs, everything. Um, but I'm also going to link our group. Make sure you do join us there. If this video was interesting to you or helpful, like the video, uh, that helps me out a lot. But also subscribe to my channel. When you're subscribed, you'll get a notification when all the new videos come out. Just lots of neat ways to use your Cricut, Silhouette, Sublimation, um, and a lot of, about designing for yourself. So you're not going to want to miss the uh, design program that we're partway through. Um, and that's it. I hope you have a good day. Bye.